Hi everyone, uh, I am going to demonstrate how to create a virtual map or a custom map. You could do this for a classroom or for yourself. Uh, just to plot areas on the map using Google Maps. But if you want to do it for a classroom, you can make a virtual tour or have every student have a responsibility of finding a location on the map and write a little bit about it. So when you're in Google Maps, first you want to do is just kind of click in the search box here. It's going to ask you for my custom maps. It will generally do this as long as you're logged into your account. I am. All right. So if you want to create one, you can either press the Create button here, but I've already started making one, so I'm going to say Try Custom Maps. It's going to open up an area where you can sh locate the ones you've created. So I'm going to check the box here. I'm making a Chicago virtual map for a classroom example, so I'm pressing Select. And I started a little bit. So right now I actually located a few areas that they may be talking about or I might be interested in. And I plotted them out here. So any kid could actually click on here and it'll open up an area where it'll give you the address. You could add import images and write a description about the, the location you're talking about in your virtual tour. So you either could click it or you could search for it that you have in this legend over here. And you could customize it however you'd like. So how do we do this? Well, everybody will have a responsibility or you will have a responsibility to locate something on here. I could always put a pin anywhere in the area I want to put I want to be on, just like in Google Maps, but if I know want to search for something, so I'm going to put O'Hare Airport. It's a pretty big place. It will automatically pin it there. So now, say I want to add this to my list of my vir Chicago virtual map for my classroom. I could click on it and I can press add to map. It's simple as that. Now it's in there like a typical red pin and it's part of my virtual map. Now if I want to customize this I can literally press on it. Nothing's there except for the typical things you would see if you search through Google Maps. But if I want to customize this, if I'm a student or I'm a teacher and I'm customizing this little pin, this location, I press the edit button. I could change the name to whatever I'd like it to be. I could fill out a description. All right, I already pre-did that, so you don't have to watch me type. I can remove the information that's there, but I think that's pretty valuable. And I could also add pictures. So if I press this little camera button, it'll open up an image search. So O'Hare Airport. I could search for it. And then when I find something, I'll just check the little box and do that and there's my picture. I can add a series of pictures because sometimes you want to be more visual on your location and then by pressing save that will be done on there. So on my legend if I go to Chicago O'Hare International Airport it will take me there. So we put all this information in our personal go or this Google Maps creator but why what's the reasoning for this? Well, kids could actually choose one location or multiple locations to pin on here, and they could present uh, whether it's a geography unit or they could actually create a map location as a presentation to illustrate where they are and kind of get that real feel for it. Or you can do this as one big group. So it doesn't matter if you want every student to kind of talk about one particular subject and you want to find their location, you could actually share this map just like you do with Google Documents and have everybody responsible to write on it. So if I press share, I could actually invite anybody I like in here. So if I, you just type in their email addresses, uh, we do a different method here at this district, but all you do is you put their Google app addresses in here, you allow them to edit or view, it doesn't matter, but if you want them to be a contributor, you allow them to edit, and when you send it, all those students now have rights to actually go in and actually contribute to your map. So you have one big project, one-stop shop, and you just did a virtual map using Google Maps.